Hello, my name is Tom Stiles, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show, number 58. I ran across a program that runs on uh, Android phones and tablets. I'm running it presently on my tablet. It's still in its early development stage. And what it is, is a program that you can use software-defined radios that are on the Internet. And to give you a little history, a software-defined radio is a radio that most of the radio processing is done on a computer or in a computer. Only the front end, the uh, receive or transmit, whatever the case may be, section is done in hardware. Everything else is done in software, which by doing that, it makes it very versatile because you can have software filters, you can have software tuning, uh, you can do recording and all that stuff. So um, I've been into software-defined radios for some time, and I've done some shows about software-defined radio. And this is the uh, first application that I found for the Android tablet or phone that will give you the software-defined radio interface on your tablet or phone. And basically what you're doing, similar to an application that I showed you where you did the same thing, but the application ran on your computer, you ran the application and you could go to connect to someone else's uh, front-end SDR and control it via your computer. And you could tune, you could change the filters, you could change the, the mode of operation, all on your computer. Now, in this case, you're doing the same thing, but on your tablet. And like I say, this program is, is just starting to be developed, so it has some shortcomings, but it's gone a long ways already. So I want to show you this program and um, see what you think of it. Be right back. Okay, we're going to see how this goes. Um, this is uh, the website. Um, it's this. This is running on my Acer A500 Android tablet, and this is the website where you get the APK. Uh, the program is not in uh, the Android Store or the um, Amazon A Android Store. You have to go to the developer's website, which this is the website right here. And the best way to find it is to do a search on AHPSRD. And I think it's like the second or third entry uh, in the search results. And the, the, the website address starts with NAPAN.CA. I'll give you a hint where it's at. And what you do is you download um, this APK and install it onto your um, Android tablet or Android phone. Okay, now I'm going to change this over. Now, this is, um, believe it or not, the actual application. Let me back up one thing. Okay. Let me go so I can show you. Now, here is, here is the icon right here. That once you install it, that icon will show up. So here's, here's the icon right here. And it's H excuse me, AHP SRD. And then you, whoops, and then click on that, and it starts the application. Now, I get, when I start the application, I get an error message. But what I do is I just ignore that error message and go down here and click on the uh, menu button. We go down, let me zoom out a little bit more. I go down here and click on the menu button, and it gives you a couple of op options. 
The first option is to select a server. Now, there's a typically there's about a half a dozen people who have put their SDR radio on the internet, and you connect to their radio with this program via their server. And so that's the first thing you do. So I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to click server. And it gives you a listing of all the people who have put their radio on the Internet and their server address. And you just go down and pick one. And, well, I'm going to pick a different one. That one's a little noisy. Okay. Um, so you pick. Okay, <laughs> unfortunately I picked some that were kind of noisy. It's a bad time of day to actually be doing this. It's uh, about 2 o'clock Eastern Time. Um, so I picked a server, and you see right now, you see kind of the typical spectrum display that you see when you're running SD. Let me turn the volume down. Okay, turn the volume down a little bit. So you see the typical um, spectrum. Uh, it's usually um, 192 kilohertz wide or less, maybe 96, depending on the particular radio that the person is using. And um, once you get this up, there's a couple of things you can do. You can either manually scroll through the band and... Um, this right now, the receiver came up and it's at 14.30, uh, which apparently this radio is getting a lot of noise. Now, you can, like I said, you can scroll through the band using your finger and just scroll through it. Uh, or you can come back down to the menu and select a band, and it will display the bands that are available. 40, in this case, 40. 30, 20, 17, 15, 12, 10, and 6. So let's, um, let's select 40. Now, see, that's a lot quieter. Um, not much going on there, but it's a lot quieter. So now you can see a little better that you're, what the radio is receiving in, uh, in this range. It's, uh, right now it's tuned to 7.048 local sideband and then down here in the bottom is your typical waterfall that shows you where the activity is within this spectrum now you can you can tune the radio directly by selecting the menu selecting frequency option putting in a putting in a frequency uh, let's put in 7.2, selecting OK, and when you know it, I get a failure. So, like I say, this thing is still in development, so let's reload it again. Select a server, and select um, eh, this one down here, see what it's like. Okay, it's nice and quiet. It's tuned. Now, you could, it shows the owner's call letters, so you can look up his call letters and figure out where he is um, throughout the world, where he is physically. So um, it defaulted to 14.2, pretty quiet, and this is a lot better representation. So now you can see very clearly the waterfall, and you can see the activities down here. On the various frequencies, like down here at 14.16, uh, there's something going on down there. So I, so I selected that by touching it on the screen. 
that tuned it to that frequency. And now you can hear the activity. Let me turn the audio up a little bit. Yeah, uh, when you know it, as soon as I turn the audio up, he'd stop talking. We gave him a few seconds. See if he, that guy comes back on. There we go. So, loud and clear. Now, again, this front end is allowing me to control this person's radio that he's connected to the Internet. And I can change... The frequency, let me turn him down a little bit. I can change the frequency. I can uh, select a band. Go, that way I can go directly to a band. I can, uh, let's see what else I can do here. I can change the mode. Um, AM, FM, upper side band, lower side band. And I can put in, I can select some filters. So I'm basically controlling this person's radio using my Android tablet. In this case, it's an Acer. Let me back up a little bit. So this is my tablet. It's not a computer. It's just a tablet. And um, able to listen to um, radios uh, throughout, you, throughout the world and controlling them. So, again, I think this is a very interesting program. Uh, similar, it's similar to a program that I use on my um, computer. Uh, just not as elaborate, but it's got a lot of, it's got all the basic tools you need. Um, and, it, and it seems to work every once in a while, like when I tried to select that frequency, it crashed. But um, I'm sure it'll get better. So anyway, give it a try. Um, if you get a chance to try it, Please give me some feedback of what you think about it. Please leave a comment on my YouTube channel, and I would appreciate that. So that's the show for today. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.